We are kit bashing the machine shop at Evanston on my N scale model railroad today. Coming right up. I'm Roy Smith. It's good to see you again. Thanks for joining me today. Kit bashing. That's what we model railroaders do when we take a commercial kit and modify its size, its shape, or even its function. We do this so that kits will fit the limited space on our layouts or so that kits will more closely resemble the prototype that we are modeling. If you have been following along, then you know that I'm rehabilitating the Evanston area of my N-scale layout. In last week's episode, we began to kit bash the three main structures for the railroad complex at Evanston. Today, we are continuing to work on one of them, namely the machine shop. This is episode number 11 in the Evanston renovation series. I will put a link to the series playlist down below so that you can go back and watch any of the episodes that you may have missed along the way. Now, kit bashing is just one of the things we do in this on this channel. So, if you enjoy kit bashing and model railroading in general, then I hope you will subscribe if you haven't done it yet. In fact, I'd love to see you do it right now. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. I try to upload Dispatch, the weekly show for model railroaders on Tuesday nights, and layout updates on Saturdays but sometimes I fail to meet my own deadlines. That's why it's so important for you to hit the notification bell. I hope this video will help you if you are thinking about kit bashing structures for your layout. And if you have already done some kit bashing, then I hope you will share your experience with the rest of us who are new to this aspect of the hobby. You can share your experience in the comment section down below because Sharing the hobby is what we model railroaders do. One last thing, you will see a train running in this video. Watch for it. Now the machine shop of my layout looked like this at the end of last week's episode. In that episode, I cut away one of the three bays that came with the kit to make it fit the narrow space that I have for it. Since then, I've done more work and the machine shop now looks like this. As you can see, it's still far from finished. And this, of course, is the prototype at Evanston, Wyoming, as seen from a Google street-level view. The Union Pacific donated it to the city of Wyoming in 1972 when it no longer needed its railroad complex there. The city renovated the structure and now uses it for public events such as model railroad shows. Note the form and colors of the structure. This is what I am trying to replicate in a limited space on my layout. The machine shop had five bays, as you can see in this Google satellite view. Sadly, I've only got space for two of the five bays on my layout. So how did I get from this on the left at the end of last week to this on the right? That's what I'm going to show you today. It begins with more cutting. Kit bashing usually begins that way. Here I am at the workbench, cutting off another section of the kit to make it look more like the prototype. If I mess this up, I will have to buy the kit again and I certainly don't want to do that. Here's the machine shop on my layout following the surgery. The kit didn't come with a people door, so I'm beginning to add one from another kit as you can see. Also, the kit came with skylights, but no flat roof. I cut the roof sections from sheets of plastruck. I have space for one of the four skylights that came with the kit. For now, the foundation and roof have not been glued on permanently so that I can access the interior of the structure more easily. I used 
all of the walls that came with the kit in modifying the front of the structure. So for a back, I am using a piece of plastruck. The back of the structure will not be visible from any direction. I have given it a base coat of paint and I have painted the interior walls black so that the walls don't seem to glow when I add interior lighting later on. But I can't make a lot more progress on it at this point. I'm waiting for certain materials that I need in order to continue with it. For example, I'm waiting for plastic putty to make some minor repairs in the walls and I'm waiting for paint that more closely matches the color of the prototype. I want to spray paint the walls of the structure with their final color before installing doors and windows and before permanently attaching the roof and foundation, all of which have or will have a color that is different from the walls. Until those materials arrive, I hope I can make some progress on the power plant and the roundhouse. Well, that's my layout update for this week. Be sure to join me next week when, as I said, I hope to show you some progress on the power plant and maybe even the roundhouse. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss it. Also, be sure to click over here to watch more videos. I'm Roy Smith. Until next time, happy railroading.